Alright guys, I am back with another video, and as you can see by the title, you might be a little, um, intrigued maybe, I hope, confused, I don't know, but basically I'm starting a new series for games that I'm anticipating, um, in the coming months. And the first game in episode one of this series is L.A. Noir. Now there is a lot of talk about this game, uh, good and bad, as far as what the game really is about, and to tell you the truth, I don't know, but I'm here to tell you my thoughts on the game um, before it releases May 20... no, not May 27th, May 17th. Now, a lot of people um, are extremely excited and are saying that the primary reason that they're going to purchase this game is because of this new groundbreaking uh, te animation technology um, for the character movements and their facial features and how detailed it is. Well, I'm here to tell you guys, if that's the primary reason why you're thinking about purchasing this game, you might want to give it a second thought before putting out $65 on the table um, if you don't even really know what the game's about or how it's going to play. Um, I know Craig from TV and Lust and Seth were talking about that, and um, you know they made a really good point about that. I mean, if that's the primary reason you're purchasing a game, you might want to rethink your uh, purchase because, I mean, if a game graphically is great, that by no means guarantees that the game itself is going to be great. I mean, there are several games, guys, out there that graphically, graphically look phenomenal, but gameplay, they're garbage. So if that's the reason why you're thinking about buying it, you might want to just rethink your decision. But I'm here to tell you why the game is, looks interesting to me. Now, it is published by Rockstar. Um, and all of you guys know Rockstar for the games that they've recently released this past decade, like Grand Theft Auto and Red Dead Redemption. Now, don't get me wrong, those games are fantastic, um, which is why I have high hopes for L.A. Noir. And basically, for those of you that may not even know what this game's about, it's basically set... And people are honking their horn at my house. Anyways, the game is set in 1947, uh, post-World War II, and um, you're, an LA, you're an L.A. detective, and you're basically trying to solve crime um, mysteries in L.A., as well as murder mysteries, and um, I think you even um, take a dabble in the uh, Black Dahlia case, which is to this day not solved, but um, which is really interesting to me. But anyways, what intrigues me so much about this game is, uh, like I said, it's it's uh, published by Rockstar, and as you guys know, I've already said this, Rockstar, GTA, Red Dead, but um, the reason why this game looks so interesting to me is because it's unpredictable. Now, we've seen small gameplay footage, we've seen screenshots, we know sort of what we're going to be doing. We're going to be researching and uh, trying to look for clues on these crime scenes, maybe driving around town, but... For those that are interested in the game that might not know much about it, is this gonna game is this game gonna be as exp as expansive as Red Dead Redemption? I don't think so. Is it gonna be as action packed as GTA? I highly doubt it. But that's why I'm so interested because it's unpredictable, you guys. It's not the same formula sandbox game that Rockstar continues to regurgitate. I mean, yes, that works, and their fans, you know, there's a tremendous fan base behind those games. But I'm in the mood for something different, okay? When GTA 4 was released, yeah, I was excited, but I knew what to expect. I was going to be able to, I was going to, you know, hijack cars, run over hookers, and shoot people until the cops put me in jail. And Red Dead Redemption, I was going to do the same thing on a horse in the West. So, it's like, yes, the games are exciting, they're fun, and they're enjoyable, but they're predictable. And L.A. Noir is taking a whole, you know turn of game, turn, I don't, I don't even know how to put this into words, but it's just, it's something new, which is why I'm excited. Now, since it's unpredictable and I don't know what to expect, is that a good thing? It could be. Could it be a bad thing? Yes. But, since Rockstar is publishing this game, I do have high hopes for it, and I think that it definitely ha has tremendous potential. Um, so, you know, I'm excited to see what the coming months have in store for us as far as um, more gameplay footage, as well as more details on what to actually expect for this game. Uh, is it a day one purchase for me? I don't really know yet. Um, I'm really, you know, just going to have to see more of the gameplay footage and read more into it than what I have already. 
But like I've said, um, I am strongly anticipating this game, and I have ever since it was first announced. But um, like I said, guys, the main reason why I'm so excited about this game is because I don't know what to expect. And uh, I don't think it's going to be the same regurgitated uh, sandbox game that GTA and Red Dead are. So um, I'm excited. I really am. I think it's going to be a great game and a great uh, cinematic experience similar to a game like Alan Wake. You know, the game wasn't super action-packed, but um, the cinematic experience of it really uh, just drove me to keep playing and ke kept me sucked in. And I think that's what's going to happen with L.A. LA Noir. Uh, and so that's what I hope. Uh, now let me know what you guys think. You know, I'm interested to see uh, what you guys are, think about the game. Um, are you going to purchase it day one? Are you going to wait, uh, maybe like me, to see how the game is perceived by the media and, um, you know, how it actually looks? So, let me know. Drop a comment in the box below. Uh, just let me know what you guys think. So, if you guys like this uh, new episode series that I'm going to do, let me know and, uh, you know, I'll continue it because there are a lot of games in the upcoming months that I could definitely do this video for. Um, so, thanks for watching, everybody, and um, until next time, I'll see you later.